Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have a very special unboxing, something that came in from, I believe, TRM, Three Rivers Manufacturing. I've uh, been really excited about this. Uh, I think it might have a couple of things, but let's take a look. This is going to be, if I get a little giddy and a little excited, you'll know why, but I'm just, I'm super pumped about this. So let's get into this. All right, here we go. So I did cover up the front with the names and everything, but it did go here to Rob's Nerdy Knives. So let's see what we got. Oh, got to open the side here. So excited, not even opening, not even cutting it open. All right, let's see if there's any sort of packaging in there. Oh, we have a set of scales. Okay, okay. All right, got some packaging going on in here. Oh, we got a little screwdriver set. Okay, okay. What do we got? We got a little note. We'll take a look at that. We have a box. Oh, we have some stickers here. Very cool. Please don't take me apart. No oil needed. Okay, very good. All right, so I'm going to put that off to the side. I'm going to look at the note here real quick before we open it up here. All right, so... All right, so we got, okay, we got one knife, all right, a set of scales, all right, okay, okay, very cool. All right, so we'll save this for later. This packaging is always good to save. All right, so I'm going to put this one off to the side. This one, I'm pretty sure I know what that is. Uh, this looks like it's going to be part of the giveaway. This is like a little screwdriver set which is really nice. Look at that, a little screwdriver, a little iFixit. Oh yeah, so you can spin it around. It comes with a little bit set here, and you've got what? Let's see here, we've got a, a T10. What is this, a T8. And we got a, a T6. I don't know what this little guy is. is it? Oh, two T6s, okay, that's always good to have a couple of them. That's nice, that's nice. Very, very cool, nice little, tool set there. I don't know if that's meant to be part of a giveaway or something. Now, this right here is customer appreciation. TM product you've purchased, answer one question, scale one to 10, okay. I'm assuming this is for one of the other items. All right, so um, I'm gonna put that over there for now. So let's look at this right here. All right, so this is I used to be sugarcane, so I've seen this box before. I know Andrew Demko uses it. This is the TRM Three Rivers, made in the USA. And let's see what this is. Titanium Shadow. All right, so we got a twist and pull. And pull this out. Let's see here. What do we got? Oh my gosh. Warning, extremely sharp. Yes, they do sharpen their blades very, very well. Oh my gosh. I know this is, I mean, whew, there it is. The titanium shadow. A grail I've always wanted to get so much. I saw this at Blade Show, didn't realize they had them available. And I got to handle one and I thought, yeah, this is amazing. Now, this is a big boy. Here's my Adam. You can see that. About the same size if you look at that. A little thicker for sure, right? All right, so let's see. It is a crossbar lock right here. I believe they call that the river lock. Got a captive pivot over here. Looks like a T8 over there. T6 is around here. All right, let's go. Oops, let me do that again. There we go. Oh, look at that, look at that. No play, blade play. Action is beautiful. Oops, let me do that again. All right, I'm not used to this yet. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at. Let's flip it. Oh, I'm just such a novice. Here we go. Look at this. Oops. Let's do this again. Reverse flick. Beautiful. Be look at the pattern on here. Now, beautifully round, contoured. I, I would call this close to contoured. I mean, it's flat technically, but it's so rounded that it almost gives a appearance of contour. This is uh, a milled-in inset. Uh, titanium clip, but the screws aren't fully recessed, but they're almost recessed. Let me show you though. This is, let me find my magnet, it is titanium. So titanium, titanium, but there's steel liners in here. 
So if we look inside here, there's steel liners, because this is a crossbar lock. It likely has a mega spring inside, right? So, oh my gosh, look at that. Now let's see, what is the steel on this? 20 CV, TRM 20 CV. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be Magna Cut or 20 CV. This one is 20 CV, and that's totally cool. Oh, and this thing is ridiculous sharp. So let me just show you how sharp we're talking here. You see that? Crazy, crazy sharp and a beautiful thin edge. You're looking at a thinness that's very relative to the atom. Nice, thin, sharp, cutty edge, which is really great. I love, love, love that. Now this does have the volcano thumb studs and it also has the volcano thumb studs on the axis or the crossbar lock. I keep calling it crossbar. It's a river lock, right? So beautiful dead nut centered. And look at that pattern now. So you can see the two titanium. This is the straight line one right here. This is the diamond pattern that comes up to larger and then less down here. And it's very smooth. So it's gonna be beautiful in and out of pocket. Really deep carry, beautifully rounded all the way around. There are no sharp spots. Look at that. It's gonna be comfortable in the hand. Man, I just gotta get used to that. Okay, and look at that. I can choke up. Nice big finger choil position right up there for a choke up position. There's no jumping, but it's not necessary, right? It's really, you got thumb studs there holding you in place. This is a slicer type of blade. Call this, I don't know what we even call this, a reverse sheep's foot, reverse Tonto, Warncliffe, I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it. I'm okay with whatever. We do have good utilization from blade to handle right there. Really nice, the action is beautiful. Look at that, just drops beautifully, gorgeously closes, just so nice. So the nice thing about the river lock is, just like with any cross, uh, crossbar lock, you can use that to open and close. So that's beautiful, it does have some weight. This is definitely a weighty, weighty knife. Just like the, the Atom is a little heavier too as well, because this is titanium. Now, I'm looking at this, and what I see, yeah, there is a line right there, it almost looks like an integral, doesn't it? It almost gives you that integral feel of the knife. So close, but there's a line right there, very, very slight. Um, line and then that's where they come together right there and I believe these scales could be replaced if you wanted to right but uh, I think getting the titanium ones is the best way to do it right where it comes right in so you can feel that right there really really nice it's a little sharp on the inside here that can be polished up nicely that's all right though I'm okay with that I have a way to to deal with that Right there, nice choke up position. So I have large hands right here, large hands. So look at that, large hands, feel that to here to here. Plenty of room, but if I choke up, got plenty of room for extra large, double extra large hands. If you have, now mind you, mine are large hands with meaty fingers. If you have large hands, extra large hands with regular fingers, or double extra large hands with very thin fingers, you'd probably be about the same here. And then with the choke up position, you definitely have a lot of room up here. So that's nice for sure. But this blade is ridiculously sharp. It is sharp as you can imagine. I am just kind of blown away. Uh, I'm sure it's worth a sheet of paper here. Just want to show you how sharp this is because testing it out. So. So, yeah. So there's our curly cues, right? I mean, and it was it was a very smooth cut, very smooth edge going through that. I will I will just tell you that it was not it was not coming through a little dust on the table here, not coming through like resistance or or gritty. Beautiful, beautiful edge. 20 CV blade steel. That's what I have on this one right here. This is also 20 CV blade steel as well. Now I did strop this edge up. You can see it polished a little bit more. Let's have a little material on here because I did strop this recently, but that is crazy sharp as well. And this one also, like the other one, you can choke up on this one as well, which is really nice, especially for large hands, right? Uh, so I do like that right there, especially the choke up position. That's really nice. And it's nice and rounded. The clip is rounded. Everything is rounded. Nothing sharp around here. Um, now it is a little sharp on the inside here, and I think I can just touch that up. I'm not too worried about that. But that is just from the titanium. You know, it looks like they chamfered the inside, and it's just a little, little sharp. But I will touch that up. It's not a big deal to me, right? I can use a small file or something like that on that. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that texture on here. I love that milled pivot. 
right there. That's really nice as well. And I love this right here with a beautiful, beautiful cross crossbar lock going across. Look at that. Look at that action. I mean, just right out of the box. You don't often get that. I mean, I got that on the Hogue Collector's Edition, Misto. I had that sort of action. Didn't have it on most of my Benchmades. I mean, my, my Benchmade Adamas was close. I will tell you that. Now, the nice thing about something like that is it's nice for a roll. Look at this. So I can, I can roll open that. That's really cool for open. I can definitely reverse flick it. I can definitely roll open that knife really well, close it, and then you can absolutely reverse flick it as well. And, I, and then I can left-handed roll open that. That's really cool. Really, really nice. Beautiful. Just such a lot of touches. So let's let's take a look at that so you guys can see some of the details on here. Now look at the look at the texture on the scale. That is just fantastic. With the little logo and then the volcano thumb stud. Let's look at the back as well. Look at that texture all the way across with the volcano crossbar lock and volcano thumb stud as well. And here's the clip, the titanium clip. It is uh, inset into the scale, but semi-recessed. It's almost perfectly recessed. It's similarly recessed to these screws, if you can see that. I think that's cool. It's kind of a, a complementary aesthetic. I like that a lot. And then you look at the back here. Look at this. It almost looks like a full integral back here going all the way around like that. And you come back here and you see here's the stop pin for the open position, right? That's the stop pin right there. And then you see the, the crossbar lock coming across, locking the blade in place. No blade play. Yeah, in solid. Really nice. All right, so let's, let's look at that beautiful blade here as well. Look at that. The TRM, Three Rivers Manufacturing um, logo there. And then you have TRM USA. That beautiful thin blade. It's got a nice pokey tip, perfect for, you got it. Dog food, cat food, fer, uh, fertilizer, mulch, um, cases of water, presents, gifts, Amazon boxes, anniversary presents, birthday presents, letters, envelopes, right? Really, really, really nice. Look at that. And here is, got the beautiful thumb, the finger choil right there coming up, the beautiful contoured right there for a nice contoured grip as well, which is really nice. And then we can see the inside here. And here's the steel liners on the inside. Right, and you can see the titanium backspacer back there. It does look like there is there a couple of screws right in there. I don't know if there's a hole or just screws. I can't quite tell in there, but there you go. So let's zoom out a little bit. Let's take a look at that knife, just like that right there. Look at that beautiful, 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 beautiful texture on that knife. Man, that's just so gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. This is definitely right up there. It's been one of my grail knives for sure. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. And you, well, the only way you ever get on one of these is you gotta get one of those lottos. You gotta get on the lotteries and hope you get picked and you get, you get a chance to get a knife like that. Just simply outstanding. Man, when I went to the Blade Show, if I had known two people who had knives, that was Three Rivers, Three Rivers Manufacturing and uh, Holt Blade Works, I would have probably left that Blade Show with only two knives and that's it. And that, that, that would have been it. But this is so nice. Look at that. Just simply. Stunning, 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 stunning. It's gonna be a fun carry for sure. This is definitely an extremely well-built knife. So, so nice, so, so, so nice, yeah. Really cool, and the blade is just crazy sharp, just crazy, crazy sharp, and nicely rounded on the tip back here. It's nice and soft, I love that, I love that. Now, it is just a little bit sharp at the inside, and what I'm thinking I'm gonna do with that, and it's going to be very careful, and I don't want to do it here and waste your time, but what I think I might do, and it's going to be a very slow process, I might just just do something like, you know, like this, where I'll, I'll, I'll work it in here ever so slightly, you know. I'm trying to see if I can do this in front of you. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of that sharp edge off. So it's a little sharp on that side and we go over here. Yeah, so 
See, that already helps right there. That already helps right there. And I don't know if that was a process that normally gets done or not, but um, yeah, getting in there, I just would need the right tool. Now I might have a smaller file that I could work in there with, but once you do that, that edge is not quite as sharp. And that, that's, that's, that's nice. It is just a little bit sharp in there. That's the problem right now. And so I need like a very tip of this to be able to get in there. And this is a little too big, so I'm gonna have to find something a little bit smaller to work with. I don't know if it's gonna be something like this, right? Where I kind of work it in just a little bit like that. And I just work it over here a little bit like this. I'm trying to see if that's... Kind of like that. See, that's already, that's already helping. <laughs> so it was, it's just a little sharp right there. And I don't, I'm not sure if that's, you know, if that's normal. If you guys who have the shadows already know that, hey, yeah, mine came like that. Uh, looks very fixable. Looks like, uh, you know, I mean, it could have been something that might have just been mixed, missed or something. And not, to me, it's not a big deal. You know, I mean, to me, that's an easy fix for me. I'm patient enough to be able to, to fix that, you know, and, and, and I'm not going to bore you to death, but this is what I would be doing. Just a very slow process like that. Very methodical, no rush, because I don't want to scratch the titanium. This is very specific just to that edge, right? That's all I'm trying to work on. Just that little edge, trying to get that sharpness off. And I, I just want that extra crisp, sharp edge, just to, just not to be as slicey. And that's all I'm looking for. <sighs> all right, so, yeah, so see now, when I feel that, it's not sharp. And it is over here on this side because I haven't worked on that side. And that's all there's to it. Super simple, just it takes patience and time. You've got to not rush it, right? <sighs> and that's the trick here, don't rush it. But once I do that, I think, that little edge thing right there is not going to be as catchy because I can feel it every once in a while. On this side, no, but this side still, right? And I don't want to have my hand slide back and forth and slice because, you know, it's, 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 it's sharp. And this is a knife that I will definitely end up using. I will tell you that I have used this in the garden, believe it or not, for some hard use. There's funny how some of my knives, I have no problem hard using them. Um, the t my Adam is one of those weird knives that just, it works. It's a hard use knife. It's not one of those super pretty boys, you know, right? And I get to use it and it's perfectly fine. Now I got to just get that action going in there. So there we go. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. Yeah, now I assume this don't take me apart. Uh, no oil needed. It's probably talking about this one here. It's probably on dry pho uh, phosphor bronze, and so this is one of these that runs dry, which is fine. I'm okay running it dry. I mean, I do normally put oil on my Spydercos and Benchmades, and that's fine if they if they want to have it like that. I'm I'm okay with that, right? Not not a big deal, because this is such a beautiful knife right here. Now it does have a little stuff on here. Is that just dirt? Yeah. I'm not sure if that's just dirt or something. I'll have to wipe that off. I have some clean solution here. We'll just wipe that off. Not a big deal. But man, really, really cool. Really, really cool. Very nice knife, very nice knife. Definitely one of those grail knives for sure, right? So, gotta get used to where the thumb studs are. Use them, but very cool, very cool. That's the TRM 
shadow. So this is a titanium shadow with a titanium scales. Love, love this thing. Definitely a heavy built, strong, solid knife. Definitely going to be a workhorse for sure. So very cool. Just out of curiosity, I was just kind of curious. How much does this guy weigh? I'm curious because it doesn't feel light. It feels like it might be five and a half, maybe close to six ounces. I'm going to say five and a half, maybe six ounces. 5.6 ounces. Yeah, so it's 5.6 ounces. It's not a light one. That's for sure, right? So there you go. Very, very cool. Very cool. Very nice knife. I will do like that a lot. All right, crossbar lock or river lock, what they call, nice thin blade, 20 CV, beautifully uh, um, crowned or rounded around the back, beautiful contoured, rounded corners everywhere. It's really nice. This river lock, cross, uh, crossbar lock works beautifully. It's really nice. Uh, understanding how it, that works is really cool. Beautiful deep pocket carry clip, um, you know, recessed into the scale. I mean, or at least uh, inset into the scale with the recessed screws or almost recessed screws, right? Beautiful texturing, milling pattern all the way around. Love, love, love that. First impression are just fantastic. I mean, I handled one at Blade Show, but I didn't like handle it, right? Not like this. I'm going to definitely do that with this one. I think that'll be a lot of fun. We'll, see, we'll get, a, get, a, get a feel about this knife right here. So, yeah, uh, definitely some big acquisitions lately. So we'll, we'll enjoy this one. Get a little feel for it and uh, we'll get a full review. And if you have any questions about this knife, about, you know, first impressions or anything you'd like to know about this knife, let me know, right? I would definitely love to hear from you. Definitely getting a little dirty here, so I'm, I'm going to have to get my cloth out here, clean that off. So we'll clean that off a little bit. I don't know if that's, if that's just, stuff from milling or if that's stuff material I can't tell I'll have to use a little Windex and see if it comes off it may not it's fine um, do like this knot I mean it's just beautifully the tolerances are ridiculous on this knife it's just fantastic I even love the milling pattern on on the pivot here as well that milling actually matches the milling that would go on here you see that very similar that's cool I do like that very, very cool. All right, so, sorry, I'm just, I'm oogling over the knife. I think it's pretty cool. Hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, informative, or entertaining, would you please, I'm trying to reach for the card here, and here we go, found one. All right, if you found this content fun, interesting, informative, uh, worthwhile, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the, liking the channel really helps out the channel, allows the channel to grow, produce more content, do more things, ultimately do more things for you guys. So thank you. Thank you to all of you guys. And especially to you guys who watch the videos, who like, who subscribe. Man, I really appreciate you. I really do. Thank you. Um, and if you haven't already, hit that notification button down here as well so you can be notified of future content like this video. And also to all my channel members, a huge, huge huge thank you appreciate you guys you guys are amazing i just want to thank you guys for all the, you know your support of the channel of everything that we do here um, you guys have been supporting a lot of you since the very beginning and i am blown away by that i've got stuff on the table i'm sorry it's not coming off i gotta clean it off i don't know what it is oil something for maybe one of the knives anyways um, just tell my channel members, I appreciate you guys. If you guys have been on the fence, you thought, hey, I'd like to become a channel member, I would love to have you. I'd be honored. Super huge honor. It really would. I have three different tiers, very basic to a little higher, um, different things. But to all my channel members, if you're first time you become a channel member or if you've been a channel member for a while and you haven't asked yet, email me with your name and address and I'll send you a sticker. I'd like to send a sticker to all my channel members. And then also, uh, there's a once a month giveaway for the channel members. So be on the lookout for that. I do like to do something special for you guys. And that's just my way to say thank you. It's not my way to lure you, just my way to say thank you. Because a lot of you have been here since the beginning. And I just wanted to do something special just for you guys. So thank you. Um, yeah, you guys are amazing. So I appreciate you. Just know that. And if you haven't already, check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, check me out on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great day and a great week. Bye.